What's up? So, uh, about to get out on the water on the Susquehanna River, doing a little free fishing for the Hobie BOF. Uh, not gonna be out super long today because it is gonna be in the upper 90s probably by like noon. So, just going someplace we haven't been before. Uh, a lot of people come here this is a pretty popular place so it's not gonna be like it's some oh let me get over here it's not gonna be some super secret but since we haven't been here before we're just gonna check out a couple things uh, and you know maybe we'll post this video I don't know it depends we'll post it well, we not we might not post it until after the ninth. Depends on how we do today. So we'll see how it goes. But we're gonna get out there and try to catch a couple. Wish me luck. First cast. Oh, God, I love these fish. God, he hammered that spinner bait. I thought I was snagged. Not a bad fish either. Man, I'll tell you what, I don't know if you can see this. Let me angle this down a little bit. That's a decent fish. That's the first cast on a shallow rocky shoal with an STC spinner bait. That is Snaggler Tackle Company. John is a guide on the Susquehanna River and he makes uh, his own spinner baits. And he, ma he basically matches them to the bait fish in the river. Um, and he does a fantastic job. They're a real light wire. They cast really good. Uh, they got a really solid thump to uh, some of the ones that are designed to have that. 
and you know John John just makes a quality product like I said he tests everything here so it's basically made here so um, this fish is a 17 inch Susquehanna smallmouth right there beautiful fish Not bad for the first fish of the day, friends. Not bad. Didn't take long. We got that party started quick. And I'm throwing this on a Temple Fork Outfitters. This is a medium moderate rod. Um, you know, I like moderate action rods for my for my reaction type baits and, and, and stuff like that. Unless I'm fishing around grass, then I'll use a fast action. Um, but, you know, it's a medium because these spinner baits have such a light wire. I don't like throwing them on a medium heavy or anything higher because what happens is, is you really start tending to bend out the wires on, on the hook sets, um, which I think takes a little power away from the hook set. So I like to use a medium action. Um, this has a really good parabolic bend to it. Uh, but, and then I'm just throwing it on a six speed reel. Um, you know, it's, it's a good, good quality spinner bait though. You know, you, I don't throw a trailer on these. Um, I don't think they really need it. Um, but you know, solid bait catches solid fish. So, all right, we're gonna catch hopefully a bunch more. Tell ya, I think, a limit of 17 inch fish both days on this Hobie BOS could be a really good thing um, you know the river's been fishing kind of tough I think I personally think the river's on a bit of a decline right now um, and you know and that's that's there's a lot of controversial topics that we could talk about with that um, I personally believe it has a lot to do with flathead catfish uh, you know the guys who love flatheads will argue and say that it's the pollution. Um, you know, it's it's a bunch of things. Uh, I don't think it's any one thing, but I think it's a combination of pollution and high water events and, you know, the introduction of flathead catfish being the predatory fish that they are and basically will eat anything and everything. Um, you know, it's, it's created a a more difficult environment for these fish um, you know I'm not a biologist or anything so I can't sit here and claim that to be fact but that's my assumption and a lot of people agree with me some don't and that's fine um, you know one thing I will tell you is that there's still trophy class smallmouth in this river in more numbers than than most places and that's what makes the Susquehanna such an appealing place is that these fish truly are trophy class smallmouth you know I mean you go to other other rivers and lakes and you're not gonna find many places that have the quality in numbers um, This little fish came from a long way to get that spinner bait. I watched it. <laughs> um, this little guy. So what I've done just now is I've raised my motor up a little bit. You're going to hear it back there. Sometimes it'll come up and out of the water. Um, but I'm in a really shallow, rocky area. So I got that motor just kind of tilted up a little bit and I'm still getting propulsion out of it. I'm still moving forward, but I'm not, I'm not scraping bottom as much. 
Um, you know, and, and honestly, I can I could still kind of hold in current or you know spot lock if you will um, in current fishing. Uh, it really makes it a nice feature to be able to just raise that motor up a little bit. Um, you know, and right now I'm, I'm I'm in like a foot of water right now. It just kind of moving across it. You still got to be careful, and you know you're still gonna you're still gonna hit stuff, but you know it allows you to get where you need to get to. Smallmouth right there. Look how thick that thing is. God, beautiful fish. Seventeen and a half. Nice fish right there. You just missed an absolutely epic jump. I'm hooked up with a smallmouth right now. He's not huge, but he's beautiful. And he's got spunk. <laughs> Come on, get up in here. Come on aboard. The ride is free, my friend, and you get to go. As soon as I'm done getting this hook out of your old lip, Such beautiful colors on that fish. God, it's a pretty fish. Man, that was one of the coolest jumps I think I've ever seen. And I had to go for a loss. That's disturbing. Another one, real pretty colors on it.
just a little one, but he's got some jumps on him. Beautiful colors on that fish too. Check it out. on that fish that is a beautiful fish just I mean absolutely vibrant stripes man it's such a pretty fish probably went goes about 16 and a half maybe 17 but just a beautiful Susquehanna smallmouth say goodbye to the camera I think we're gonna end it on that one um, it's about, I don't know, we've been out here about three or four hours. Um, that's really all I had planned to do today. Um, and catching a beautiful fish like that on my last one is, is plenty good enough for me. So we're out of here. That spinnerbait bite is on fire. Fire. All right. I caught about 15 or so on one of these. Just casting it out and reeling it in. It's a Z-Man plastic. Oh, wow. Okay, that. Thank, Thank you, man. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, bud. Yeah, you be careful, man. You too, guys. Yeah, that's really good, baby.